Tiger Woods. His ex-girlfriend is now suing to cancel a non-disclosure agreement that she says he made her sign years ago. Tiger Woods is being sued by his ex-lover for a whopping $30 million. And what this means for Woods' career will shock you. Well, some say that's the price you have to pay when you're the best golfer of your generation. But is it? I mean, how can you constantly find yourself in a legal, media, or sexual scandal almost every time? And this time around, Tiger's ex-girlfriend is suing him for $30 million while seeking to nullify a non-disclosure agreement. There's absolutely no doubt that Woods is no stranger to controversies. But is this a gold-digging case, or does Tiger know how to get into trouble with women? Well, to answer that, I decided to do some deep research only to discover some dark secrets the media doesn't want you to know about your favorite golfer. And these hidden facts will leave you totally shocked. You see... All of this started when a three-year-old boy appeared on the Mike Douglas show decades ago. <laughs> the boy would later grow into becoming one of the best golfers in his generation. And ever since, it's been from one controversy to the other, and now he's in a messy legal battle with his ex-girlfriend, Erica Herman, whom he began dating in 2017. But here's where the filings began. Tiger had a domestic dispute with Herman, which spilled into court in Florida. According to Erica, Woods broke up with her in October and locked her out of the seaside mansion the duo shared on the Treasure Coast. Erica responded by filing a lawsuit that same month, not against Woods at first, but against a homestead trust the golf legend established for his home. Now she's claiming damages of more than $30 million dollars and says the trust and its agents misappropriated $40,000 cash that belonged to her, making defamatory allegations about how she obtained the money. But in a new lawsuit filed a few weeks ago, Herman asked to be released from her non-disclosure agreement or NDA with them. She claims their NDA is unenforceable and should be nullified, citing the Speak Out Act, a federal law protecting victims of sexual harassment and assault. Erica's suit asked the court to void the NDA so she could share her own experiences, recordings, and photographs of herself related to various legal claims she believes she has. Now, in case you didn't get all that jibber-jabber, here's what you need to know. Erica is suing the PGA Tour star in court to have him rescind a non-disclosure agreement she signed at the beginning of their relationship back in 2017. She's suing Woods for $30 million because she claims he pulled off a sneaky scheme to get her out of his house. Apparently, Woods wanted her out of his house, so he had to play dirty. Woods' agents contacted Erica that her estranged boyfriend was planning a vacation for both of them and had her pack some stuff and go to the airport. Obviously, she wasn't suspicious, so Herman dashed into her room and in a couple of minutes, she was all prepared for the supposed vacation. On getting to the airport, they informed her she had been locked out of the residence, not just any residence, Tiger's Florida mansion. Visibly furious, Erica felt betrayed and resolved to get back at her ex-lover for pulling off such a trick on her. At the end of the day, Erica asked for more. By virtue of filing the suit, she's telling the court that the golf legend owes her $30 million due to the way she was suddenly evicted from the house. Woods, on the other hand, claims her argument is utterly meritless. The 15-time major champion is trying to make a case by saying as a supportive partner, he only provided her with a place to stay for the meantime, probably the length of their relationship. Well, some say her first motive was making this public, which she now has achieved. Her big card that she played was making it public, which she has now essentially won, if you will, the first battle. So this is Woods getting involved in another controversy and yet another woman. You would recall that Woods' marriage with Elin Nordgren and mother of his kids came to an end following multiple controversies the golf legend got himself into. After weeks of denial of having an affair, Woods admitted to it, apologizing for his transgressions. For all that I have done, I am so sorry. But then, it was already too late. Tiger didn't know how to keep his third leg between his thighs and he paid dearly for it. It goes without saying that the couple's divorce became one of the messiest divorces in sports history. For the divorce settlement, Nordgren received $100 million 
and monthly child support of $20,000. Elon also kicked Tiger out of their home in Windermere as part of the settlement. But despite all of these, Tiger never fails to accept he's made some terrible errors in the past. But that doesn't stop Nordgren from being his closest friend. I made him a bunch of mistakes. But in, in the end, you know, Elon is my ex-wife. She's one of my best friends. However, that doesn't change the fact that the divorce left the kids pretty unsettled. But who is Herman, and how did the duo meet? Wood's relationship with Herman took a towering leap at the 2019 Masters. That's when over 10.8 million captivated TV viewers watched in amusement as the once disgraced sports legend passionately kissed Erica following his first major tournament win in more than a decade. As a matter of fact, sources credit Erica with Wood's momentous comeback. Back in April 2017, Woods underwent a major back procedure. The spinal fusion surgery became necessary after Woods injured his back to the point of experiencing intense pain nearly every day. Um, I'll have a nice, comfortable, and great life, but I'll never be able to swing the club like I used to. Um, Speed-wise, there's, there's no way. While Woods was in recovery post-surgery, many have said that no one was more supportive than his ex-girlfriend, Erica Herman. While speaking to a media outlet, Tiger's friend and fellow golfer Arjun Atwal said Erica has been 100% supportive, especially when he was down with his health and other challenges. Tiger didn't have a lot of people around, but Erica has always been there for him. But that wasn't the only health scare Woods suffered that Herman helped him through. In February 2021, Woods was involved in a single vehicle crash that resulted in surgeries and physical therapy. And through all of this, Herman was yet again by his side. The couple enjoyed a relationship for five years before they broke up, but some who know them well have insisted that Herman pursued Woods for much longer than that. Herman and Woods reportedly first met while she was an undergrad student at UCF. Herman was bartending on the side while studying political science. According to Johnny Naoli, a former server assistant at Woods Jupiter, Herman worked at Blue Martini in Orlando as a bartender to get through college. So one day, Tiger came to the bar as a customer, and he seemed impressed at the way she discharged her duties, and the duo became friends. Herman moved on to VIP manager at the bar and stayed in touch with Woods. However, the two apparently didn't develop a closer rapport until after she graduated. So when the golf pro opened the trendy South Florida restaurant, the Woods Jupiter, in 2015, he hired Erica to manage, a move that made some uncomfortable. Although staffers liked Herman, they had to keep things professional. And due to her closeness to the owner, they were also scared to get too close to her. Another coworker who spoke to a media outlet said that while Herman had a very direct personality, she was just keeping the interests of the group in mind. She was very direct, but accessible. While managing Wood's trendy Florida restaurant, Herman and Woods frequently met to discuss business in his private dining suite at the restaurant. According to reports, the suite was separate from the main dining room and had its own frontal access to the building. But one fact of Herman's life that has been covered fairly significantly is her issue with past debt, which makes many wonder if she's been golf digging all along. Back in September 2018, the Daily Mail noted that while Woods had pulled in a reported $1.62 million following his comeback in golf, Herman has been in a hole for $240,000 for years. According to the outlet, Herman and two business partners received a $200,000 investment from Florida investor Tom Morris to open five nightclubs in Orlando, Florida. They opened two clubs but failed to make returns, so they ran out of money, prompting Morris to sue. Morris was awarded a judgment of $240,223.08, which Erica dodged paying until she began working at the Woods Jupiter. But here's what you need to know about her case with her ex-lover. Erica wants out of this non-disclosure agreement that she had with Tiger Woods, and the law she cites to release her from that NDA says she can do it if she invokes sexual abuse or sexual harassment. And so the implication there is obviously she has grounds to invoke the statute, but she needs some underpinning. She also claims to have some pictures and videos that back up her claim. But what remains puzzling is why she refused to file a police report or a civil lawsuit if she has really been abused sexually to opt out of the NDA. But what do you make of Tiger's new controversy? Is he just unlucky with women or is Erica trying to have a bite of his pie? 
click on one of our videos for more intriguing content from us.